inspire you with timeless classic prim looks from my boudoir. And as always, don't forget to stick around until the end for the mini photo shoot that we provide for you at the conclusion of every episode. And in today's episode, we are presenting you three looks all featuring the trench coat. That is right. Now, the trench coat was actually created in the early 19th century, about the 1820s. Contrary to popular belief, it's believed that it came about in the 1920s, but actually in a, an entire century prior. It was created by a Mr. Uh, Charles McIntosh, a um, Scottish inventor, and a Mr. Thomas Hancock, a British inventor. And they actually toiled in and manufactured rubber. That's right. So they actually created the trench coat for British military officers, not just the rank and file soldiers, but you had to be a British military officer to even be able to get to wear the trench coat that was actually known as the MAC at the time, M-A-C-K. And I think it came about because of the primary inventor, Mr. Charles McIntosh's last name, MAC, right? So military soldiers, obviously, uh, after the officers started wearing them, they be became really popular. They became um, almost like um, uh, an emblem of patriotism to be seen in a trench coat or a Mac at the time. Um, so women wore them as well, not just women who were serving in the war efforts, again, World War I, um, but everyone, men, women, it was super uh, gauche at the time to wear or be seen in a trench coat. And of course, as you might imagine, they started to seep into the fashion and just cultural lexicon of the day. Um, so much so that uh, Burberry actually uh, copyrighted it again a hundred years later in the early 20th century at this time. So yes, Burberry did not create the trench coat, but they did end up refining it and bringing it into popular culture as we know it today. It actually was also popularized and brought to the fore by another designer. I forget that that name escapes me, but you know the Burberry name. British designer Burberry that actually brought it into the fore. So yes, we have three looks that is featuring a, a trench coat in every look today. Let's get started. The first look in all, all coats, actually all three of these are by Ann Taylor and Ann Taylor Loft. Now I really like Ann Taylor, as you know, as I've said in videos past, I really love Ann Taylor clothing. The quality is excellent and Ann Taylor's clothing really is made for um, the experienced, the lived, the worldly woman, I say. But this trench coat has um, most of the designing features or the features that you come to associate with a trench coat, right? So like the flaps here, the wings here, the button detailing straps on the shoulders, right? Of course, the double buttons that come down the thigh. And of course, the strapped button feature on the wrist area, right? And generally speaking, the belting, right? For sure. And this one, of course, is vented also on the back, right? This one really really reminds me uh, and brings me back to like the late 1960s, early 70s, like the gangster shaft days, especially with the way that I designed her. She's super beautiful, right? We actually went with, in terms of designing, styling this look, this black on black look that features these uh, trousers from Express. I have had these trousers from Express about 10 years. I actually have two pairs of these because they fit so well and I love the way they feel and you can dress them up or down. It's like a stretch knit jogger. Yeah, from Express. And then we went with this button down from Amazon that I've showed you previous times. Um, I really love these because of the sleeves. I'm actually wearing the white one right now. The sleeves really have like this tuxedo effect to the sleeve wrist area. And I love wearing these also because they fit well in the neck because I like to wear ties, which brings me to the tie that I actually featured in this look. So all three looks 
all three of these looks that feature the trench coat, I used red for my uh, feature color, right? Tell me what you think about it, yeah? And how did we ex further accessorize? I actually went with this Tiffany and Fred little bucket bag. This is a lambskin leather. I purchased this from the Gilt website. And the Gilt website, much like Italist or Ukes or the Vestair, um, Gilt, G-I-L-T dot com, G-I-L-T dot com. And I'll link it for you if they are still available. I have also seen this one on Amazon as well. Um, but Gilt actually carries like mid-range to high luxury products, right? Super cute. Again, lambskin leather. Look at the handle there on the bag with these little balls, which featured well and married well with the shoes that I paired with this ensemble. Ah, you would remember these from my shoe haul video a couple of weeks ago. I won't spend very much time on them, but yes, if you want to see that video or see more about these shoes, hear more about them because they're super sexy and works for my five, two and a half short frame, right? These are five inches on a two inch platform. So if you split the difference, it's like walking on three inches right, I suppose, but I love these 100% leather. Again, Michael Kors, super, super sexy, right? Again, moving on. That was our first look featuring our first uh, trench coat. Our second trench coat is denim. It's a denim trench coat. And again, these uh, this one has the uh, customary traditional features, most of them, of a trench coat, the customary buttons that go down both sides, the flaps on the front, the uh, button straps on the shoulders, as well as the button straps on the wrist, again, with the venting at the bottom and the belting. No storm shield on the back, which is a customary uh, feature, a traditional feature of the trench coat. But we have a storm shield that's on the um, right, oh, I'm sorry, left chest area here. See that? And I really like the orange stitching uh, detail on this one, on this denim trench. Yeah, and I really like the buttons on this one. And you can't tell here, but the buttons are raised. The quality of the buttons are outstanding, excellent. It's another reason that I really like shopping and Taylor because um, they just put care into little details like the hardware on their clothing and accessories, right? This one is still available. Uh, the first one is not available. I've had that one for some time now, but this one is newer uh, to my collection and still available. This is Ann Taylor again, right? I will link it for you below. What did we wear under this trench? I went again with the button down, the black button down again, no tie this time. And this time I wore a, uh, a skirt an H&M skirt. This one has the venting on the front, not the back. And I got this skirt at H&M during the holiday season clearance sale for, drum roll please, $6.99. That is right, $6.99. Just a basic, um, it has this piping that goes down the front here. Again, the venting on the front, not on the back. Uh, there are loops here for the belting, and it zips uh, up on the side, not the back, but on the side. Really, really stretch knit, wears well, love it, love it, love it. But the accessories that I went with, how did I accessorize? I went with this Acadia bag. Now, do you know about Acadia? Have you heard about this Italian brand before? They really became known for their patent leather bags, just like this one. I love the details and features on this bag. I love the strapping here, the leather strapping here, uh, the smooth leather against the patent leather. Uh, also with the uh, closure here, the snap closure is smooth leather as opposed to the patent leather. Just a wonderful juxtaposition of those two leathers. And the embossing is indicative and signature to the Acadia brand. But I also love the studding here. Do you see that along the straps there? 
love it. Just super sexy bag, right? And then another feature that I love about this bag is the red piping and design on the inside along the stitching as well of this bag. I've had it about 10 years now. This is, I think I've got four Acadia bags. You'll see another one in a moment here. But yes, this is just a fantastic satchel, almost messenger bag design, right? And it comes with a long strap for shoulder or crossbody wear, right? And the soles that we went with, we went with the Sam Edelman boots. Um, I love these. This is the only red pair of tall boots that I have in my entire uh, wardrobe uh, because you know how I feel about red, but don't they match my lip color perfectly, right? These are a four inch heel. These are all leather again by Sam Edelman. They have the zip up, zip down for easy access feature on the inside. And I love that the heel also, um, the leather comes all the way down through the heel, this blocked heel as well. Aren't these sexy? And I love the embossing, the snake embossed detail of these boots. Sam Edelman. They also have the little Sam Edelman logo there on the heel. Can you see that? Just beautiful. I've only worn these about four times. I've had them though for about eight, nine years, but super sexy. I don't think I need another pair of red boots because these are so well made. The quality is excellent and I'm going to hold on to them for into perpetuity, right? But that was the red, the pop of red that I featured for this look with that denim trench. Moving on to look number three. Of all the trenches you've just seen, I think look number three, trench number three, is the one that is most indicative of what you consider a trench coat, of what anyone would consider a trench coat. Again, all the traditional customary features of a trench coat, the double buttons on both sides, the <clears throat> um, strapped buttoned wrist there. This one has two button options on it so that you can draw it tighter around the wrist if you so choose, and then the uh, strapped buttons on the shoulders, right? Just beautiful. Really, really love this one. This one is from Ann Taylor Loft. I look up and find some things. I'm not a big fan of Ann Taylor Loft because I find more doily type designs, more frumpy, more pastels, floral pastels, and I'm just not into those kinds of prints. So it really is kind of hit or miss, but when I find something in Ann Taylor Loft, it is wonderful, 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 a, a wonderful find. Now, the thing that I really love about this one, and I think this one may be my favorite out of all three, is it has the storm shield on the back, right? Which is very indicative and customary of the traditional trench. Of course, the belting as well and the venting on the back of the coat. But this one has the storm shield on it, right? It doesn't have the storm shield on the front, but it does have it on the back. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, how did I style this one? Oh, and before we move on to how I styled it, it actually comes with a beautiful skirt. And I didn't style the skirt for you today, but I will in subsequent videos. But I just wanted to give you a quick look. The skirt is also available and it matches the, they both are Ann Taylor Loft just perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. But at the risk of being matchy matchy, I didn't want to design it or style it with the skirt today, right? But with that, the, with that look, I went with this button down. As you can tell here, I went with this button down and the tie that I went with, because I did go with, go with the tie this time, was this polka dot black and white. Everybody is doing the black ties these days, but again, my aesthetic, I am a suit girl. Um, I've always had ties in my collection. Um, I didn't want to do the traditional black, so I went with the polka dot black and white. Tell me what you think about it. And I went with the sexy, sexy ass patent leather Spanx. I did. Wow, what a juxtaposition against a utilitarian look like the trench coat 
to go against patent leather Spanx and patent leather pumps. These sandals, again, these were also featured in my shoe haul video, again, just a couple weeks ago. Go check it out. Again, five inches on a two inch platform, Michael Kors, super comfortable footbed, easy to walk in and just fantastic. I love these so much and I really did score. These are also on clearance right now and still available as of the recording of this video. But again, these are Spanx, right? It's patent leather Spanx with the patent leather Michael Kors platform, generous platform sandal. Yes, real leather, pat, platform, uh, patent leather, 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 real leather. Um, but that is my look. That is my look. What handbag did I go with? So as you might imagine, we still got to get our red in there, right? And I told you I had another to feature for you. This Acadia red satchel right isn't she beautiful again with the signature embossing acadia embossing on it and this silver clasp closure love it fantastic hefty just well-made hardware on this bag um, it also comes with a strap for crossbody and shoulder wear extra pocket on the back again patent leather stellar um just a little inside Note, uh, you can get Acadia bags at TJ Maxx. You can also get them um, on the Acadia website, of course, but in terms of get them on sale, because they usually run about four or $500, but you know I'm not paying that. You know I'm not. So I have gotten all of my Acadia bags um, on resale. Um, usually, I think eBay, I've gotten one or two. But traditionally, I've purchased them from TJ Maxx because they carry the Acadia brand quite often. So go check them out. But you, again, you can go directly to the Acadia website and they also have them uh, on sale pretty often as well. But just stellar, stellar handbags. Um, the Acadia brand has been around for some time. Again, it's an Italian brand and just super well-made handbag. And um, I don't know why they're more not more well-known um, like some of the other uh, mid range to higher end uh, luxury handbags, but these are stellar and I'm letting you in on a little secret. If you don't have an Acadia, you should get yourself an Acadia. These are bags that you will keep in your collection for a lifetime, but I absolutely love them. Again, those were our three trench coat looks from Let's see, Ann Taylor and Ann Taylor Loft. I hope you like them. Let me know which one was your favorite or two, or maybe you liked all of them and the way I styled them. Thank you so very much for any feedback that you give me. And again, we went with the Ann Taylor first. They were all Ann Taylor or Ann Taylor Loft. The one that reminds me of the 19, late 1960s, 70s gangster or shaft vibe, you know? And then we had the denim, right? The denim and then the traditional, what we all think of as a traditional customary trench coat, right? Again, this one is from Ann Taylor Loft and uh, the denim and this one are still available as of the recording of this video and I will link them for you. So thank you so very much for joining me on this episode of Suits Souls by EPP. Don't forget to head on over to Instagram and follow me there at Suits Souls by EPP. And just a little side note, please let me know what other content you'd like to hear from me. I've had questions from my makeup to um, my hair. Um, I've had questions um, about skincare. So whatever you need, getting a call there, um, whatever you need, um, questions answered, 
about to regarding, let me know. I'm happy to do that. I've had questions about uh, if my hair is real or not. A um, little snarky one there, a little presumptuous one there, but we handled it. But I'm happy to answer any questions. I take great pride in being an all natural woman. And I'm happy to share any tips and tricks with you uh, on someone even asked me about how do I stay in shape and um, what do I do for workouts and things like that. I'm a former bodybuilding and fitness competitor. Um, I have lots of little features and highlights in my background that I think might be helpful for, for people. But I never thought to really ask because I was so focused on just styling for you. So I'm happy to provide additional content uh, on those things, if you would truly like to know, just let me know in the comments or email me and ask me questions. And I'm happy to feature uh, episodes on anything personal. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But thank you so very much. And until we meet again, a bientôt, music.